Okay, so here we are. Morning, uh, what day is it? It's Thursday morning. This is, uh, we arrived yesterday morning, it's 390 miles. Brilliant day, came to Westport, fantastic road getting over here. And then we spent the afternoon up at a place called Keem Bay. Uh, beautiful, uh, we just got rid of the, the bikes, sorry, we rid of the bags and luggage and had the day out, so it was great. And uh, went out and uh, sampled the um, Irish nightlife. Lots of Guinness, great night, lots of singing. And uh, off today to a place called Roundstone via some spectacular roads and scenery. Um, and uh, we'll capture it on a bit of video over the next few hours. Weather is great. Uh, well, it's at 13 degrees, uh, just like yesterday, it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, happy days. Here we go. Day number two, full day. About 135 miles, got loads of time today, so we're just going to take it easy. Uh, going to see some sights and uh, take it all in. Right, catch you in a bit. to the right isn't it beautiful really really nice the mountains on the left wow yeah I could live here I could live here I think this just goes down towards the beach I think look at that turquoise water isn't it beautiful I keep on using the word beautiful and wow all the time I have to stop there Point turn and fall off the edge. Look how clear the water is. I'm right, just taking it gentle this morning, guys. Um, just take the scenery in. I'm just thinking to myself there. Uh, what would my life be like had I not chosen to do my bike test 15 or so years ago, 16, 17 years ago? I wouldn't have seen places like this, would have had the experiences I've had and going to have, wouldn't have had the mates that I've got now. Just look at this. We're going to go through these mountains today, but we're just taking it easy, it's just, we just want to soak it all in, but yeah, a little bit of reflective thinking there and I'm just thinking, wow. Aren't we lucky on having the opportunity to have bikes and ride bikes where and when we want? Yeah, it's going to be a good day today. Look at that! Look, 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 look at that view, guys! Look, 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 all the way round us. Should we go to the top? Should we go to the top? Won't be able to climb it. Never mind, ride up it, John. <laughs> yeah, definitely Glen Cove Island, definitely. I think we're just going to go through that valley, guys, on the right. I, th I, th I think we are. And we're going to go down, and the, and the lake's in, in between the two, and we're, we're going to go on the left-hand side of the lake.
isn't it? You go through here, don't you guys, and uh, you, you feel small, don't you, when you go through the landscapes like this. Isn't it majestic? I think that's the right word, majestic. I don't know. Yeah, we should have done Ireland a long time ago, John. Well, now we've done it, we can just, you know, you could do this route set many times and still enjoy it. Well, it's pretty much on our doorstep, isn't it, in Liverpool? Get the ferry across, you know, get, get a cabin like we did for the night. And, uh, and get, you know, get it, just get it. Some uh, switchbacks and stuff here. Yeah, yeah, do an, an annual trip. Yeah, yeah. The people are friendly, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And everyone wants to talk to you, don't they? And they've all got a story to tell, and they want to listen to you. No, it's ace. Love the place. Oh, there's the lake guys wow wow look at that oh my god that is a view and a half jeez it's a pity the coaches are here ruining it should we see if they want to get our bikes in the photographs we're gonna have to stop here aren't we and get a photograph of that all right, all right leave it in gear i think that is just Outstanding. Outstanding. So we came round a corner and we looked, came over a bit of a hill. And this is all quite impressive. And then as you keep coming around, it gets even more impressive. Just look at that. How cool is that? And that was just our view. And we've got to ride that rat road down there. Just spectacular, spectacular. Right the way down the edge. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's a sort of landscape you'd have framed on your above your mantelpiece at home, isn't it? It's that majestic, you know.
Again, the colours, I love all the way they paint them the race. I want to go home and say to Haley, I want to paint my house orange. The KTM orange. At every bend there's a new view. Misunderstood Heron being recommended this place. <coughs> yeah. Hey, looks good. Not nice view as well. Off roading again. So we've just turned up at this place and uh just standard, standard place, and then you sort of like get a snapshot of what's going on there, just in the background. The wagon's turned up, that's what the noise is. And this is like a shack on the side of the road. But the view is spectacular, spectacular. I believe the food is really, really good. The guys doing stuff in the misunderstood heron. How is that for a view? You know, just randomly here sitting at the misunderstood heron. How good is that? We just travelled all the way down that fjord on our bikes. Fabulous. Well, I've got to say, that has to be one of the most memorable lunches I've ever had in my life. Just sat there with a samosa pasty with some beautiful, like, sort of side dip, which I'm going to make when I get home. They give me the recipe for. But just look at that. You just sit here taking it all in. It's just like, wow, wow, wow. Anyway, we're going to carry on. We're heading towards Clifton and then we've got some uh, really good roads to follow. Just look at the weather, isn't it ace? I'd be happy just staying here all day and just looking at it and taking it all in. But we can't, we've got loads to do, big adventure ahead of us, another eight days. But hope you're enjoying the vids guys. Now see the uh, head, see like the, the rusty angle mast, you know, I know, but if you, if you look at the, the top of it, the, the WAW for World Atlantic Way, yeah. Should we get all three bikes and get a photograph? I, I you know, put, put them like nose, no, just put them like nose to tail on there, like a, like in a, in a semi-circle. Okay, and, ready? Wow, look at that view to the right. Grace O'Malley uh, lived at Ren Renville Castle. She badly damaged it by accidentally firing a cannon from the sea. <laughs> Circuit, isn't it? Yeah, 
this is again, this is like an imagination from Scotland. Yeah, no, I, 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 I sort of agree with you, Andy. Andy. We've done it a few times in sea now, haven't we? But um, I think what we haven't done and what we should do next time is we should do the islands like Sky and, you know, do, you know, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the thing that Richie Vida did the other day when he goes over to the Orkney Islands and the Shetlands, and that looked ace. Uh, but it's, again, it's a long slip, it's all the way up to John O'Groats, you know, just to get there. Yeah. I, ah, I wonder whether that's... You know, I was saying you can actually go across the sand from uh, the mainland to the islands. That, that, that could be it. Could be. Right, Omi Island. So, are we going to be brave enough to go across the sands, you think? No? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's one of the... John goes on his, I'll go on mine. Because we've got the same tyres, haven't we? Yeah. Listen, what, what's the worst that can happen? You slide and drop it on the sand. You're not going to smash the car, the bike in, are you? And you'll just be embarrassed. Let's go and have a look. John, you're going straight on it, are you? Tell us what it's like, John. Would you come in your bike? Are you coming, Andy? Andy? Come on, then. John, what? Sensor. Are you sure? Alright, let's go, Andy. Let's just go. This might be a bad decision, but let's just go. It feels all right, Andy. It feels all right. I'm off roading. I can't believe I'm doing this on my bloody GT. I'm only worried about the steering, not about it dropping. You know, about the traction, sorry. Hey, hey! <laughs> I didn't think I'd be doing this today. I told you, the G2 is the most versatile bike in the world. It is. I must admit, I, I'm, my stomach, stomach is dead tight. I'm like, I'm like, everything is tall. Exactly the opposite of what you need to be doing on a bike. I, I'm just, I just don't want to turn the front wheel. I'm just trying to go straight. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm in second here. I don't want to spin up too much. I'm trying to stay in the tracks if I can. I don't know why. It, yeah, it's not as bad actually as I thought. I right, don't fall at the last the last hurdle. <laughs> hey, baby! Hey! So this is so this is the boys coming across. The sand as I've just come across. It's really hard. It's like right a beach right in the middle of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't fall. Oh god. Hey, you made it. You made it. And here's, here's Andy cruising across. Looking good, and Are oh, you going very slow, aren't you, mate? <laughs> Oh, I made up. I've done that. I must admit, before we came away, I thought, what, what, if we get, if we find it, shall we do it? I'm like, nah, I won't, won't do it. Oh, where are you going? Oh, good. 
Right, we're doing the, re the return trip now. I suppose we've got to, haven't we? Otherwise, we're, we're going to be we're going to be marooned, marooned. Right, here we go again. Right, don't get cocky, Steve. This is how cool is this? What's it called? All the islands. Look at him. <laughs> so we've effectively got no tread on these bikes on this sand, Andy. Exactly. Like there's an arrow. Is it as if you don't know which way to go? I can feel the front sort of slide and. I think we do the Paris Dakar next year. I'll just be pleased to get to the other side. <laughs> as soon as you turn the, as soon as you, as soon as you turn the wheel, you can feel it going laterally left and right. Oh well, we've done it, Andy. We've done it. <laughs> it, it even though John doesn't break off the door on his own bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it on Andy's bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's good. I can tick that one off my bucket list. Great day for it, lads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. Every day is great on a bike. <laughs> oh, I don't be rubbing it in. <laughs> I have a map of the world. Do you want to just have a glance at a map of the world, the world Atlantic way? Well, we've got one, but it's not very really detailed. Um, we think it's this way, but we'll find it. But no, we're doing it. 10 days, we're doing it. It is. It's a round, round stone. And that's all. That's all. Yeah, we'll find it. Dodgy bits. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a rider myself. Yeah, okay, not well. on the camels. Yeah. I'm camels. Just for <laughs> oh, I see. Huh? Camels. <laughs> well, they're camels, isn't they? Yeah, yeah. What do you ride? Uh, I'm a Goldwing fella, You're built there. for comfort. Oh, okay. Do you yeah. still ride? You still riding, are you? Oh God, I am. Yeah. Have you done this route? Have you on your bike? I have. I've done every square inch of this. I've, uh, I've. The bike is out in the Rockies now. Well, it's not in the Rockies, but it's, yeah, that's where I'm going yeah. now. Wow. You go to a pub here on the right. Well, there's a petrol station on the left there, just on the junction. They might have one. You're on the left here, John. Stone. So here we are coming into Roundstone. This is our st stop for tonight. We've uh, had a bit of an issue with the route tonight. Today we've uh, there's a big loop around uh, some mountains that we've struggled to find. These garments are letting us down. Uh, anyway, I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, had another cracking ride. Um, if we get out. After we've checked in, I'll get that on the video um, and capture it after this little bit. Otherwise, um, yeah, we'll try and do that tomorrow and I'll get it on uh, day three's video. So, thanks for watching. Uh, keep liking and subscribing. Uh, catch you all soon. Cheers, guys. Ta da!